<laughs> Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Cast. And this is Matt from Northern Gaming Network. And this is Netrunner Team Cast. This is 28th of March in Hiveward Cologne, a store championship. Uh, it is round number four, game number one. I'm on the left, I'm playing Max. And on the right we have Jackmate and he is playing NB and yeah. 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 And I would like to welcome you to the podcast, Matt. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Christian? I'm doing excellent. This is going to be an excellent game. I'm actually excited. You know, you have to go back in time when it was the Mar 20th of March. I was so excited about this because I was on the top table in the round number four oh, at my good. hometown store championship. Oh, that's great. In my that's... hometown store championship, I was in last place until the last round. So two hmm. completely different situations, sir. It, it is a completely different situation, although, you know, if that happens to me, I always, because I always feel like an imposter whenever <laughs> that happens to me, yeah. so I always feel like at some point there's got to be a crash, and I am uh, fighting against a formidable opponent here with me. Uh, Jackmate was one of the top 16 players in German Nationals. Of course, uh, I can see the playmat, yes, indeed. Mm, he, that's where, that, where he got us from, and then he starts immediately with uh, install uh, in front of HQ and R&D, and then the sweep sweeps. Sweeps, oh. It's a good start. Mm. I, I, I've played a lot of Nech in the past, and uh, yeah. anytime I can start with a sweeps week, I always feel really good about myself. I'm a bit disappointed that uh, less and less players are playing Andromeda recently, because that was always the best thing, sweeps week and really Andromeda. It was the reason why sweeps week was made, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we see a run, run on HQ here, and that is the uh, pop-up window, and I just pay one credit and got to see the, the cards. Gotta trust my dice here. My dice tell me that there's a biotic labor on hand. Uh, that, that tells you that you might be in for a bit of trouble early on. Uh, yes, there will be a, probably a fast advance very soon, perhaps, if there is, you will see an uh, agenda. And oh. I'm running on R&D, an R and of course there is an, uh, there's an architect. These days you can even, you know, you can expect every R&D ice to be architect. Pretty much, yeah. It's either R&D ice or if you're playing against Jinteki, the archives, they'll just throw it in there for fun. I like to surprise my enemies and put it in front of HQ. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, just uh, install yeah. the agenda that they were going to access. Yeah, yeah, like you can say rescue cards from HQ the, 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 this way as well. Definitely, yeah. I'm a big fan. Uh, General Architect is a great thing. All right, so he installs something in front of HQ and uh, installs a remote. I'm going to run on the remote. That's a sand send. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, uh, and and, and you lost your money from the pop-up window, pop so you couldn't afford to trash it. Yeah, but I probably wouldn't anyway. I just, instead, I'll play um, yeah. those Armitage code bustings, uh, which will give you money eventually. Every token on there uh, is worth two credits. That's excellent. That's a good way of doing it. I like that. Mm. I did it because I'm too <laughs> stupid to organize them. And sometimes I get like an uneven number of credits on there, and I just don't know what I did. Of course. Oh, wrong. and of course he has another sweep sweep. Of course he does. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, because he's at the top table at round four, so he runs good. Yeah, or he has a good uh, good luck drawing those yeah, cards. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I am, of course, max, so I draw a card every turn, so Sweet Speak is really good against me, because I probably will have my hand full every time. Ah! Ooh. Wanton Destruction and uh, Count Siphon down the drain. That's true. And there's an Eater in there already, and sadly, he's uh, iced up Archives, as you can see, so Retrieval Run isn't going to be as easy to get off. Jackmate has played this game before, I, th I feel. I would think so, yeah. Yeah. He knows what's happening. Yeah. Oh, and so you just took some money off Armitage there, and you ran the uh, the sand sand. Uh, I think I made a mistake there with an am <laughs> amount of uh, of credits there. Yeah. That's really nice of him that he reminded me. And indeed, I trash the sand sand. The sand sand needs to go. He has a lot of money, so whenever he draws into an agenda, I assume he doesn't have an agenda on hand. Uh, he would be able to score it immediately. That's so right. I'm I'm like, nope, we're not. Let's not do that. Yep, jerks have gotta go. Yeah, he, just... yeah, and he, has a, he has a biotic labor, so I assume he would use the biotic labor anyway. That's the problem with any age. There's just so many ways in which they can fast advance. It almost feels pointless. It's so um, unfair sometimes, yep. yeah. Like the, all you can do is try and keep them poor, but at the same time, yeah. you're kind of poor right now, so it's, it's, you're having a hard time with that. Yeah, I'm not a very explosive start for Max here, and he installs two cards on uh, in the road service. Mm -hmm. I'm completing my money uh, money grabbing operation from yep. Armitage code busting, and uh, then I'm playing the Eater. Yes. Oh yeah. Hum nom 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 nom. And then Jackmate uh, resists the daily business show. Now even more threats from uh, oh, from N NBN here. 
And you know that he's just going to use this to find that first agenda right away and push all the rest of them to the bottom. Yep, and then he used the Jackson Howard to find the agenda even better. Ah, oh, that's a good combination, Daily Business Show Jackson Howard. Uh, yeah, that is uh, pretty mean. Uh, let's see, what will... I guess he can't fast advance this turn anymore because he already spent... Because he did draw, draw two cards with Jackson Howard, yeah. Yeah. So he's thinking what to do right now. The Eater is kind of a, a threat. I mean, I could uh, maybe account for him at some point. And he doesn't uh, have a way to get rid of his money uh, if I do that. Uh, so he installs something in front of R&D. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. And doing the maximum oh. punk rock here. More account siphons in the archives. That's a terrible That's okay. feeling. That's okay. I have the same old thing, which I also discarded here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, running on a Jackson. He doesn't trash the Jackson, so I trash the Jackson. Now I'm poor again. Blah. That is a trick that I have learned with NEH, is that sometimes you just let them spend their money because you can yeah. use yours better than the runner can sometimes. Uh, it's okay. I have a second army touch code busting, and I'm <laughs> using the money. At, I'm getting the money from the army touch code busting. See, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is fine. Everything is I'm, awesome. I'm, at least I'm not trashing my economy. That's that's always the most disappointing thing. It's like I need all those things. That's I true. Am drawing all the things that cost money. When I was testing for store championships, I was testing Max a lot, and uh, every testing game I would play, I would always see like, oh, there goes Lucky Find, there goes Sure Gamble, there goes mm. uh, Liberated Accounts. I'm like, oh no, where's all my money? And so I'd have this <laughs> hand full of great cards I couldn't play. Yeah, I, so, know, I know that feeling. Yeah, so I went yep. up playing Andromeda instead. That's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I do the one destruction, and now... Oh, oh God, no! you press exactly the eyes I don't want to see. Blown which is, out. of course, the wraparound. The wraparound is now strength 7 or so. I cannot break this. I don't have the money. And uh, man, this is this is a huge blow for uh, to Max right now. That oh, is man. terrible. And of course, he has a card installed there behind an ice. I'm running on it. This is a wrapper, uh, the quandary. quandary so yes. <laughs> even if I break it with Eater, I won't be excellent with a card um, behind this. This is looking already a yeah. bit uh, problematic for Max. I'm going through my archives in case there are some answers in there. It would appear as though his quandary has you stumped. Yes, I am. I, I'm puzzled by it. Puzzled. I cannot eat myself through that puzzle. <laughs> you can't eat puzzles for dinner. <laughs> no. As much as I want. Uh, so I play a same old thing. Excellent. That's a good one. That will be able um, allow me to to get. I was. I guess I was looking if I maybe have a, a spoon to spoon out this quandary. Because it is creamy. It is very creamy. Yes. And um, uh, and then we have oh, a biotic. No. Uh, now there we go. There we go. This is the end. The beginning of the end. Ooh, actually spending all his money for this. Interesting. So he uses the Astra token for this. This is a beer in Germany called the Astra. Oh, I like so that. He very... uses, so he uses the bottle bottle cap for this. It's the Astra token. You did find your spoon, however. Yeah, you found that's two nice. copies. But I'm assuming that's not an agenda behind this. I'm assuming that's just a sand sandwich. She doesn't want me to trash it. Seems likely at this point, yes. Mm -hmm. That will basically... Later on, when he has the money, he will be able to do, use this for the win. Mm. Difficult situation. Very difficult. You need to find a corroder pretty quick, I think. I don't have a corroder in this deck. Then you need to <laughs> find a lot of money really quick. I'm having a day job. I'm just shooting myself in the head with my fingers. Yeah, you work in a call center, just like me. Mm, you do work in a call center. I work for UPS. Mm. Yeah. So I work in that fabled uh, customs and imports service that oh those guys yeah mm. yeah but i'm totally not mobbed up i promise <laughs> that's okay <laughs> uh i was working call center one month too but that was a very different type of call center I was selling computer stuff oh that sounds terrible mm, i tried to sell was... i tried to sell magazines once Mm. Yeah. So you were actually calling people un unsolicited? Yes, I was doing calls to uh, the southern United States. Mm. I, I got swore at a lot. Yep, and yeah. you get to meet a lot of weird people this way, right? Very strange people, yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing my max thing. There is a second thing installed in the server. I'm assuming he's trying to get out a... Um, uh, what is it again? An APD contract in a, in a like a very weird kind of way. 
I'm actually doing a similar thing, spooning out that, that thing. And then I'm running on the server. <laughs> but if you think it's an NAPD... Okay, that's a sand sand. Oh, yeah. do I tr do I, will I trash a sand sand? I will trash a sand sand. Oh, good call. Mm, all right, and then... Oh, this is oh, Jackson! No! He's blown out again. Uh, the tricks. He has all the tricks. I guess if I th thought about this correctly, then he wouldn't be able to score that Sansan next, uh, that uh, NAPD next turn. That's true. Because he would have to rest the Sansan, so I guess it couldn't have been an NAPD. But at least getting rid of the second Jackson here. That's true. So hopefully, with some luck, he won't have the third Jackson to pull the other two back. Yeah, yeah but I'm s really tr struggling to make. Uh, and then we have a. Oh, interesting. Oh. That's a breaking news score here. And then he draws his card from any H, yep. Mm -hmm. Discarding another same old thing here. Really some bad discards here, I think, I'm going through here. Yeah. And I'm still don't... Like my ex usually my solution to the wraparounds is something like a knight, but I see a knight in my discard pile there. Mm -hmm. uh, mocking me from my discard pile. Uh, so that's not good. That Yeah, that's not going to help. You're going to have to... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Find a way into his archives, I think. Definitely. A femme would be also great. Uh, but uh, again... Oh, there's a pup! Oh, there's cute. a pup! Pup in the uh, NEH. That's something I haven't seen before. That is and a very interesting choice. It's, that's something that excites me as well. I, I talked about uh, Jackmate about this recent afterwards, and he said uh, he exchanged his, his uh, Eli's with the pups. Okay. Yeah, because just... he thought... Against Shaper, the Eli's aren't, aren't doing nothing anymore. No, that's very true. Eli's are really bad against Shaper right now, and Pop, at least it's two credits. It's always taxing, and it's much cheaper to, to rest, so even if yeah. it doesn't do anything at some point anymore, it's still, uh, it doesn't cost you a lot, and so that's why you can go... You can kind of keep your your server uh, moderately taxed, yeah. and still uh, like you can run the entire deck with very little money. Like, and if you run it with little money, then you're not vulnerable to account siphon actually. Oh, just all the programs are going into your. Yes, they thing. are, but it's not like I will be. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. Will I be keyholing through that? Uh, like, that's the the thing. Like, even something moderate, like uh, like an architect, will actually already make keyhole much less interesting. It can't even uh, fork it because it cannot be trashed. But I do actually install the keyhole. Look at me. You do that anyway. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You just yeah, you go off telling me keyhole, not that great. But I'll spend all my money to play one anyway. I guess that's the only solution here because HQ seems to be locked out, uh, locked down, and For there's now, not yeah. much I can do right now. So okay, I, it actually doesn't rest the uh, ice on the second ice there, and so I do keyhole. Sadly, we don't see what kind of stuff I will see because I'm holding my cards like an idiot. Sometimes oh. we... Oh! San San, that's not bad. San San. That's the third San San, if I count correctly. Yes, it is. So that's three San Sans down, and one Biotic Labor. Yeah. Hmm. And, uh, and two, two Jackson Howards. Two Jacksons, too, so that's, that's also great. He only has one Jackson left in his deck. But he only needs four more points. Yeah. Uh. And he, uh, a very quick decision from him, the daily, daily Business Show. That Daily Business Show also has to go at some point. Oh, interesting. I ran on, uh, in between there, I ran on Archives and installed the Hades shard. Oh, that's true, yes, when he uh, rezzed the pup there. Yeah. Oh, no. Just notice here. Oh, there's a second Asker script. Basically won the game already. Uh, just waiting for his last agenda here. It just took you a little too long to get set up, I think. Yeah, and I think that uh, one destruction block with a with a wraparound was just a crucial oh, thing here right now. It was so strong on his part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh that, there was another answer to the wraparound. David which was would the have David. been really good. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, doing the keyhole run again. It's not the cheapest solution right now, but it is the only one I have. I'm hoping that I can maybe snap off uh, some important uh, some important cards from his uh, R and D. Uh, uh, that's uh, not a very important card. Uh, I'm guessing I didn't read and see anything important on his hand. I would say that that seems very likely. Disappointing. Disappointing indeed. And even have to discard the fork because I guess I could fork the pup. 
But that doesn't really make sense. Doesn't. Yeah, I don't think that that makes a lot of sense. No. It would be very expensive, and I'm oh, not going to run through the pub. No. Oh, I think that we're going to see the final score here. And this is indeed the game, the game. Yes, yes. I w so, see, something, even something benign as NEH can really uh, hold off the max, after all. It's true. That is a very, uh, that was a very impressive line of play on the part of uh, Jack Maid. Yeah, I, I thought that that wraparound placement was just there. Just amazing, just impeccable placement right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. I mean, because you found... You know, you got your eater, you got, you had enough money in the early to mid game, but he was just able to hold you out of HQ long enough to find his agendas and score them out. Definitely. Just imagine how different, different this game might have gone if I were able to, to land that one for destruction. I would have maybe trashed some agenda, maybe trashed his fast advance utilities. Uh, that could have been very different. And you can see that, you know, again, uh, people were talking about what can kind of stop Max, and people were talking, thinking about stuff like um, the Swordsman or stuff like that. Right. And I think Reparance is a much simpler, much more effective solution in many cases. I would think that, yeah, high strength taxing ice was always mm. the thing that I found to be most effective, especially at low cost. Yes. Even Eli, if they are running late in the turn, can yes. be very taxing to Max and can slow them down a lot. Yes, definitely. Uh, something is very good against Keyhole because Keyhole is something that you want to do often, not just once, but more, multiple times. Yes. And then just having like an Eli there will just really put the, pump the brakes for, for Max. Absolutely. All right, Matt, so uh, you are doing a podcast slash YouTube uh, thing, right? Yes, so people can go to uh, the homepage at www.northerngamingnetwork.com. Uh, we have X-Wing videos, Netrunner videos, a Netrunner podcast that we've got nine or so episodes up. Um, you could follow us on Twitter at NorthGameNet, or you can just send us an email for more information at northerngamingnet at gmail.com. Excellent, excellent. Check out, out uh, some really nice stuff you got there going on, guys. I really appreciate that. I really enjoy your your uh, your casual uh, like data pick discussions with the, with a tea and everything. That's really nice. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of those. Those are a lot of fun to do. <laughs> it certainly seems like it. All right, Matt. Do you know how we usually end those those shows? No. So, are you familiar with the movie uh, Hackers? Can I be honest with you? No. You've never seen Hackers? I've never seen Hackers. All right, let, let me give you a sample. So Hackers has like this, this slogan uh, in it, and the slogan says, Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up, it's amazing! It's incredible. That's why you want to see this movie. I will make sure to see this movie as soon as I can. This episode of Netrunner Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hacktheplanet.